in a typical contract, for example, uh, sale of a car, you've got a car, I want to buy for buy it. I can pay you money, five hundred dollars, um, or, assuming we both agree, I can give you fifty chickens. I can give you my baseball card collection. Anything that you and I agree to. Well, that's not the case with the covenant not to compete, because. The state of Texas, like most states in the United States, has a strong policy favoring competition. Covenants not to compete are considered a restraint of trade. And so that's why courts take a dim view of paying for a covenant not to compete or frankly providing anything other than something that causes you to need a covenant not to compete. And by and large, uh, it's pretty much come down to confidential information, and specialized training. Those are pretty much two of the only ways outside of a sale of a business that you can get a covenant not to compete uh, from anybody who is an employee. For example, if I give you, and I promise to give you confidential information, well that's going to cause me to need you not to go out and work for my competitor after you have my confidential information and presumably use it against me with the competitor. The same thing with specialized training. If I promise to give you specialized training, I don't want you to go out and use the training that I gave you for a competitor. Mm -hmm. However, if I give you cash, if I give you $500, there's nothing about me giving you $500 that causes me to need a covenant not to compete. 